Hey, this is Eric Anderton. Welcome back to the Solve Problems Fast process. I'm super excited that you're here. The last video, we got real, and now we're going to get some ideas. So let me take you through the model here. Got my groovy triangle here on the board. There's three levels to the get ideas process. And the first one here is green light. The second one is gather. And the third one is MVI. Not MVP, but MVI. So you remember back to the first video when we drew out the courage ladder. And there were steps that you had to take to get up the courage ladder to overcome your problems. The courage ladder had get real, get ideas, and get busy. You'll remember that with get ideas, what was really essential was that you, as the leader in the organization, are willing to demonstrate humility. Now there's a wonderful quote from a guy named J.M. Barr who wrote the Peter Pan books, and his quote is this, I'm not young enough to know everything. That's a very interesting quote. Think about that in terms of your leadership. Sometimes when we're young, we, we tend to have an overestimation of our own abilities. And sometimes that overestimation is founded upon some kind of reality. So you may have been working with Chick-fil-A since you were a teenager. And you've perhaps come up through the ranks and you've been a grand opening supervisor or a general manager or an interim manager, something like that. And as a result of that, you have a lot of knowledge and a lot of capability as far as running a Chick-fil-A operation is concerned. But haven't you found that sometimes all of the knowledge doesn't necessarily help you to be a better leader? And the reason why is because you don't necessarily always communicate that knowledge effectively to others, nor tap into the genius that they have, the genius that you have within your own leadership team, to help, your, help you solve your problems. That's why humility is so essential. And you can demonstrate humility in the way that you involve your team to help you to overcome your problems. The biggest problem you have often in your organization, and I, I hate to say this, actually I don't, but I'll say it just nice and plainly. You're the biggest problem. You are the limit on the organization. Not only that, but many times in, in different companies, there's divisions between different departments within an organization. You may have experienced that. So you've got the leader at the top, you've got the divisions in the departments down below him, and then not only that, but there's no real accountability and responsibility taken by anyone in the organization. Everybody's frustrated. The profitability isn't where it should be. The leader himself is, is bound or tied to the organization or the company and experiences no freedom himself, and really the purpose of the company is not being carried out. The wonderful thing about the Solve Problems Fast process, particularly the Get Ideas process, is that you're able to gather your leadership team together, they're able to generate a bunch of good ideas to overcome your problems, and you're able to focus in on one particular area that you're going to employ in order to address the challenge that you're facing. So, when you've identified the problem that you have, what you need to do is bring together the team and begin with green light. What does green light mean? You're driving down the road, you come to a green light, and what does the traffic do? It flows. That's what you want with your ideas. You want the ideas flowing in the organization. You want to be able to get as many ideas from the people in that meeting as possible. Once you've got those ideas, you then want to gather them and put them down on a board like this or a flip chart or something like that so that everybody in the group can be looking at them, be thinking about them, and be working through which ideas are the best. People do not buy in until they weigh in. But if you give people the courtesy of giving you their ideas, you're going to find that once you decide on how you're going to overcome a problem, there's a lot more energy in the company and a lot more drive as far as pulling together to make sure that problem is overcome. Once you've gathered the ideas, don't make the mistake of trying to do everything at once, but identify the most valuable idea, okay? Identify the one that you're really going to be able to focus on that's going to help you to overcome the challenge and then move forward to execute a plan based on that. So in the next video, we're going to talk about getting busy. And I'll teach you a process to build a plan to overcome the challenges based on the MVI or the most valuable idea that you've identified. This whole process that you're learning as you go through this video series, the Solve Problems Fast process, I've used with my clients for over a decade. It's repeatable, you can teach it to your folks, and it can have an immediate five to six figure impact in your company straight away. Now, if you'd like to learn more about this process, click on the button below and book in a 10 minute conversation with me over the phone. 
During this brief chat, you and I are going to discuss some of the potential that you have in your organization in terms of the impact that you can have both with your people and with your community, the money that you can make, the freedom that you can get. And we're also going to talk about the number one thing that's holding you back. We're going to identify that so that you'll be able to go away from the conversation with real confidence and real excitement about taking your business to the next level. So click on the button, book in for that 10-minute conversation, and I'll see you in the next video.